by having it come through leaks, Mahoyo is still in control of what information comes out without it directly being attached to them. What's up, Flappers? Welcome back to another video. So today, um, I guess you guys seen it from the thumbnail, from the title. We're going to be talking about the issue with the leaks, right? The quote-unquote leaks. Um, and how it has really come to a boiling point and Mahoyo has released an official statement. With that being said, I just want to let you all know I'm currently running a giveaway for Venti. So if you want to go check out that video, it's going to be right here somewhere on screen. And yeah, follow the instructions there to enter. Also, if you do want to catch me live, I stream Wednesdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you can always tune into my live streams right here on YouTube. Anyways, regarding Mahoyo and their statement, let's be honest. I can't believe no one has mentioned this yet because to be completely honest, I don't buy it. I really don't buy it. And anybody who actually believes that Mahoyo is honestly worried about these leaks or let's take it a step further. If Mahoyo did not orchestrate these leaks. Because when they say it actually damages them, you know, it spends resources away. It's like, I really don't buy it. And here, I'll break this down for you guys today. So hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from as well. So when it comes to Mahoyo statements and how they want to combat leakers and how they want to urge the community to resist leaks, um, it's kind of like politicians when they get up on stage and say like, oh, you know, we want to help the poor. Anything they say, take it with a grain of salt, okay? First and foremost, think about it like this. Do you recall the post that was made by Mahoyo? Okay, let's just, if you don't, let me just throw it on screen for you right now. Now, give that a thorough read and think about that. Really think about that. In the very first sentence, they say, recently, we discovered the dissemination of leaked version 1.5 content. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in nowhere of any of the leaks did it mention specifically that this was 1.5 content. And for Mahoyo themselves to come out and address that this is 1.5 content, first of all, from their perspective, right? It's kind of like shooting themselves in the foot. That's how we see it, right? I'd see other content creators making fun about this statement but but i'm just here telling you that how does no one see that this is the whole point that's why i'm telling you guys these leaks these information that are able to get out and have you guys not realized how precise the information is that does get out and how limited it is that gets out okay so for people who don't understand how how this works is that mahoyo could very easily be orchestrating what information gets leaked how it gets leaked through what channels it gets leaked and then people who leak it, what avenues that these channels use to amplify the information and the spread of information. And what Mahoyo is really doing through this Twitter statement is further amplifying it. It's like there's already a fire burning and you're just adding more oil. I completely understand that if you think this is truly an accident and Mahoyo is trying their best to cover up, but it, it does not add up. Okay, nothing, none of this stuff is adding up because I don't believe a, a company of Mahoyo's caliber will mess it up to the point where in the very first sentence of their statement saying we discovered the dissemination of leaked version 1.5 content and they just blow it off the lid even further saying oh this is 1.5 content why did they mention that it's because they understand currently 1.4 is not satisfying a lot of players they understand that and as a company they are smarter than they seem people like i don't understand please don't underestimate mahoyo just from the basic tactics of how they schedule banners how they place banners how they manipulate the, the the desire within us to pull for certain characters and how they set these characters up the, the, from the conception of these characters to the design to the polishing of these characters they are not dumb okay they might be playing this role of like oh you know we're just testing the waters we're trying a lot of different things but mehoyo is not stupid by any means and what's going on here is that they are using leaks they are using leaks to bolster the player's expectation for the next patch yes 1.4 is a filler patch 1.3 was a semi filler you know some would call it a full filler patch but 1.5 content these new characters are already luring us in they're 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 trying to stop the bleeding mahoyo is trying to stop the bleeding of players they're trying to get players to look past this content look past what's currently delivered because they know 1.4 will satisfy a small portion of the player base it's proven to be right the dating sims 
teams has completely satisfied a very small portion. The vast majority of, of players want the combat. They want more characters. They want more updates. They want more story, main storyline. It's not been given to us. We want more places to explore. So what the leak is essentially doing is it's showing us, hey, hold on just a bit longer. Okay, we're working on it. It's coming. Don't worry. And the question you might be having is, okay then, Walrus, now why doesn't Mahoy just issue a formal roadmap, formal statement saying, hey, you know, this stuff is coming. And I'll tell you why. It's very simple. Because if they set a president, if they set a president and do that, can you imagine the amount of demand for future content updates? When is Dane Sleep coming? When is Ayaka coming? When is this coming? When is that coming? How come this is not on a, how come that, right? By having it, come through leaks, Mahoyo is still in control of what information comes out without it directly being attached to them. Listen, think, people think, think. This is the superior tactic that they can use. And you guys might think this is a meme video and I'm making a joke out of all this. I'm not. Look at me and really think. Just think just before the amount of leaked information. What kind of information was leaked? Was it not always so precise? so to the point of exactly what the player base is looking for what we want so much more could be leaked right how come the other stuff the little tiny little other stuff wasn't like it's always the very precise info that the player base are looking for that is specifically leaked at specific time frames that they are leaked just like now right 1.4 just released we're at a low point and immediately when the players have expressed concerns right big content creators made a couple videos talking about this and look what happened bam it's almost like we have moles in the community that's feeding mahoyo information about what we want what we are lacking what we you know I, it's not the other way around people okay so when i say that i think mahoyo is orchestrating this i'm not exaggerating okay and for those who are wondering well then what about all the account takedowns what about the legal action uh you guys may not know this but there are a lot of smaller content creators who also talk about these leaks um i'm gonna mention someone in the description so if you guys are curious to see what what's actually happening to these smaller creators so for our bigger creators that are you know spearheading all the leak content they're fine because i'm gonna be completely honest mahoyo wants it that way mahoyo wants several bigger centralized trusted sources that they can constantly monitor to be spearheading these leaked content to make sure they stay within line of what mahoyo wants right it's much easier that way and mahoyo is starting to take down these smaller channels that are talking about leaks and i'm just mentioning one i'm not going to mention too many but as you can see smaller channels will not survive this mahoyo doesn't want smaller channels to be leeching off of this stuff they want it to be centralized they want more control over this stuff so that's why when you see the bigger content creators you can say you can say whatever you want you can say like, oh you know the bigger content creators are just being smart you know they're working around the rules right yeah say whatever you want to say right? Believe whatever you want to believe. But I'm just telling you that, you know, these leaks, it's it's not as straightforward. It's not as simple as just, you know, people are leaking it. Mahoyo is behind this and they're honestly going to be continually drip feeding us information without us even knowing about it. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you guys want to hear more, if you guys want me to talk about this more, please comment below. If this video gets a thousand likes, right? 1000 likes, I will make another video. I'll, I'll talk more about this and um, share how how i've come to this conclusion because i don't want this to end up being a 40 minute video and then nobody cares right anyways thank you for watching like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned and please 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 join my live streams on wednesdays and saturdays at 7 p.m join my discord and navigate yourself to the account review application page if you want to have your account reviewed and that's it thank you all for watching and i'm erotic walrus i guess i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video stay safe and peace peace